Good afternoon, everybody. We are back. Sorry, literally just got in the house right now. Had to put my shirt on before we went live again, since you guys all told me what a nice shirt I was wearing this morning. Absolutely appreciate it. Who do we have first in the chat this afternoon? We've got Dark Bro. Dark Bro first, man. Pudgy second. Tim thought he was first, but he's third. It's five attendance points, Clay Bro. Boom! Well, it's okay with me. Tim, what's happening? Gorilla Invictus Chris, man. How you doing? Gorilla Rich. Mama Mella. What are you, what are you, what are you got going on today? Tim, Dark Bro, Gorilla, Peter, Dark Bro, Dark Bro, Pika Power, Next Level, Rich, Old Rounder, J Bones, and Pudgy. Guys, the market, phenomenal for crypto today. Looking very good. We've got AMC in the top left, finishing in the green today, up half percent, $5.05. Shiba Inu coin sitting at $9.73. Not bad. Shiba Inu coin getting ready to burn one of them zeros. Yeah, well, we're still down 90% from where we were. GameStop sitting at $20.45 at the close, down just slightly. Bitcoin, $19,411, touching nineteen five right here. Bitcoin looking very bullish at the moment the nasdaq closing point 71 percent higher on the uh, on the day here nice gain on the week gamestop 2045 your therapeutics 427 amc 505 ethereum 1423 shiba 974 dogecoin over eight cents 8.1 cents right now bitcoin 19415 sundial closing at 227 mullen auto 35 cents cei buck 87 the spy 398 bbig 67 cents highcraft mining 68 cents uh, Netflix, $332. Terra Luna Classic, $17.3. Looking strong there. QQQ, $280.97. And Ape, sitting at $1.52. And I got a notification, man. Gala coin up 30 plus percent today. Gala absolutely soaring higher today. Above 5 cents per coin. Gala looking very strong. Uh, let's see. He decides what time it is. Pudgy, that is right, man. Chris, thank you very much for the super chat. Wasn't first, so I'll be first super chat. There you go, Chris. Missed the live earlier. Tired as nuts. Had to go in at 2 a.m. to salt nothing. Oh my gosh, dude. I don't know if that's actually good or if that's bad. Would you rather salt nothing or would you rather salt something? Yeah, I don't know. I guess it is, uh, it is cold today. 30 degrees. I don't even know if it was a little wet, though. Uh, well, shoot, dude. You know they're making money if they're salting, right? They're making money. They're charging the business if you guys are salting for that business. So they're definitely making money. Uh, but nonetheless, waking up at 2 a.m. sucks, dude. So hopefully you got some rest and you're ready for Friday night. Hopefully you're ready for Friday night. It's looking good. Hey, bro. Let's talk tonic. Let's do it, Tim. We're going to see what tonic's doing in a second here. Let's talk bonk. I haven't seen bonk either, man. I want to look at bonk, too. Let's see. Tonic, 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 nope, not what I wanted, tonic, 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 let's see what tonic is doing, tonic, hoo hoo hoo, nice man, 2,000 points per coin on tonic, looking very strong there, up 16% on the day, nice healthy gain all day today, Look, man, this is this is that level we were talking about a little bit earlier. It's happening here. It did break this 19, sitting at two. So watch out. If resistance is broken and you keep on going, I really don't think it's impossible to touch this level. Tapped it back here in 2022. Tapped it back here in 2022. And you're currently breaking, man. You're currently breaking this 2,000. If you get if you get past this, I don't even know if this is really a hiccup here at three. But shoot, dude, 4000 doesn't seem impossible to double your money again on Tectonic right now. Obviously risky, but Tectonic looking very good. This is a nice gain, man. This is a doubling of your money down here, this little blip that we're seeing. Doubling of your money on this graph right here looks a lot better when you zoom in. Nice weekly gain right there. Uh, over the one month looks really good. But yeah, dude, Tectonic looking very strong today, along with, you guys got to see Gala today. I got I was getting notifications over there, and uh, Gala was ripping. Yeah, 5.2 cents right now on Gala. Maybe curling back over, not exactly sure here. But look at the last seven days, extreme volatility, man. Shooting up to about 5 cents, pulling back to 3.5, shooting up to 5 cents. Gala may be starting to uh maybe Gala may be starting to run, man. I don't know. The, the weird thing about Gala, okay, there's been a lot of confusion surrounding The Rock and Mark Wahlberg and working with Gala Games on some sort of a media production site that they've got. So watch out and make sure that stuff is real. 
before going in and buying gala based on that information but overall crypto market looking pretty healthy today gala coin looking pretty healthy today i like it uh transparent the monk get rubbed let's or rugged let's see what bonk looks like bonk 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 down 10 percent today where is it yeah, man, I don't know if Bonk is, I don't know if this is necessarily a rug, but the hype definitely seems like it may be over. Bonk still has a long way to go before it would uh, come back down to the, the price that it debuted at. But hey, it really, really down heavy. Uh, over 75% losses from the, the all-time highs that it was tapping in here, so... Yeah, Bonk is down pretty heavy today, man. 10% loss, but like 75, 80% loss over the last week in Bonk from the highs that it was hitting after it hit 30 x Uh, Richo, it's like you read my mind, man. Wait, you're not battling in Portuguese? DJ Cause, not right now, man. Oh, this is YouTube. Yes, you were on the wrong app, but it's okay. Wait, it was all right. Salt spreader sucks because the bosses are garbage and cheap, so my back hurts like a mug. But no extra BS this time. We just busted it out. Well, dude, no extra. Nobody likes extra BS. A little bit of BS every once in a while to keep it flavorful. That's okay. But nobody likes any extra BS, Chris. Good deal, man. Glad you got it done. And, uh, dude, you get it done, you get paid, man. You go to work, you get paid. So you're making some money this weekend, Chris. Sorry to be late. Hemi Life, it's all right, man. Back hurts. I'm chicken feeding constantly. But early weekend, there you go, dude. Early weekend. You got some hours in, you got that money flowing, looking good, Chris. Why is Gala running? Transparent. So I don't know if Gala announced anything else, but Gala over the last, I would say, week and a half, two weeks, has announced a couple things. Number one, they are they're setting up some sort of like a, a burn mechanism or expect to have some sort of a burn mechanism with some new apps and some new games that they've got out there uh it is not up and running yet but anytime you mention burns people get excited and they were saying that based on you know this and this and this if everything works out according to plan six to thirty percent of their outstanding supply could be burnt on an annual basis we know what happens when people estimate 30 percent of their supply is going to be burnt on an annual basis it never really comes out to be that way so a little optimistic, but people are excited about burns, always excited about burns. So that's one of the things they got going on. Another thing that they announced, but then they took down off of their Twitter page is that they've got some sort of a partnership or some sort of a deal with The Rock and Mark Wahlberg. Hmm. Great. The Rock and Mark Wahlberg aren't necessarily going to be sponsoring Gala, but seemingly The Rock and Mark Wahlberg own some own some sort of a media company that may be working with with gala games and integrating nfts into the movie space sure if this is the case could be a very good thing um but it is strange that they've taken that down off their social media sites so i don't know what the deal was with that those are the two latest stories i've seen about gala and why it's been running but it's gone from a cent and a half to five, basically five and a half cents. It's like 5.2 cents right now. So it, it has gone up in value like a three, two, two to 300%, probably, probably 280% percent increase over the last week, week and a half, two weeks maybe. Uh, nice, Timmy. What did Tim say? Tonic at 4,000 equals five. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes tim man i hope you get it dude uh gosh man i hope you get it thoughts on mana crypto gorilla yes so this this mana is one of the first movers in the metaverse space i actually think that being first mover always has an advantage to it so mana is going to be remain or going to remain known in the metaverse space however okay the, me the metaverse space is getting extremely saturated right now. And the fact that the saturation usually dilutes some of those first movers, I don't know if they're going to be able to keep up with the innovation of other metaverses. Not to say that Shiba Inu coin would destroy something like mana, but it's this idea of Decentraland, it's, it, people are going to have to pick which metaverse they want to use, right? 
and and people are going to be better off if everybody picks one, two, three, four, five metaverses to use, because the more users, the the actual you know more realistic world you have, right? And the more interaction, the more business, the more businesses can advertise there, and the more revenue it can generate, and it, you know it would be great if there's like ten thousand metaverses, man, competing against each other, and you got a thousand people in this metaverse, a thousand people in that metaverse. Those are very low usage statistics, so you, you need a ton of people to be using them. Uh, I don't know if Metaverse is going to, or if, if Mana and Decentraland are going to remain one of the top Metaverses or not, but they at least got that first mover advantage. Gala said, every coin used for transactions will be burnt. Bradley, people love the burns, man. People love the burns. The thing is, okay, like with Shiba Inu coin, for example, Shibarium is going to burn Shiba Inu coin, but how much of a transact like how much of a burn is it going to be one one thousandth of a percent of of every transaction is burnt one ten thousandth of a percent is is going to be burnt with every transaction you know you need some massive usage statistics and one thing that people often do is they grossly overestimate their project's ability you know, Gala may be excited right now, but Gala might be expecting $10 trillion a year to flow through Gala Games. Shiba Inu coin, the, the Shiba Inu coin ecosystem developers, they love to stay excited, but I think that they're expecting, you know, $10 trillion a year to flow through Shibarium. Very high expectations, and I don't know if they'll be able to capitalize on that. Gorilla, I hold, man, I like it, but I have brain injuries, and this is not financial advice, so you say, I like mana. There you go, Tim, there you go. Did Fidelity use mana? You know, Loretta, I don't actually know the answer to that, but it is one of, it is one of the first movers, so there is a very strong chance that they have. Uh, Lira, nah, first is best, just like Bitcoin, if you ain't first, you're last. There you go, Tim, that's what I'm saying, man, a lot of people have that... A lot of people have that perspective as well, you know, even if it's not as good, even if something has come in and improved on it, that first mover advantage is an advantage for a reason. Final trade of the week, MPW ruled my cover calls for next Friday at $13 to February 3rd, $13.50 strike, earning $15.30. Average is $12.94. Nice, man. Very nice, Frank. MPW calls, guys, for $13.50 next week, $15.30. Hey, I'm telling you, that's what Frank was talking about earlier, man. You start adding all these little trades in, 15 bucks here, 20 bucks there, 30 bucks here. All of a sudden, you're generating an extra 50, 60, 70, 80 bucks a week, man. You can't beat it. Have we seen any burn action that actually causes price action with anything? J-Bones, this is probably going to be a terrible example, okay? But... I would say the the only, gosh, not necessarily, okay, um, with, with Terra Luna Classic, it wasn't the burn action that caused price action, it was the excitement about the burns that caused price action, okay? Same thing with Gala Games, it's the excitement about the burn action that's causing the price moves. The only event that I can kind of think of right now that would have been a burn that generated some price action, yes, because there was a lot of excitement surrounding it, but the burn in and of itself would have as well. Vitalik, dude. This Vitalik Buterin, man. The guy that created Ethereum that literally had 50% of all Shiba Inu coin in his wallet burning billions of dollars worth of Shiba Inu coin. Uh, that that's a crazy move, man. That that's a crazy move. I don't know anybody in their right mind that would burn billions of dollars, but Vitalik burning billions of dollars in Shiba Inu coin because he didn't want those coins in his wallet. That I would say is is the only significant burn that that we really have seen that would have caused price action solely based on the burn. Everything else is excitement surrounding the burns 
that, that causes people to want to buy in. The idea of scarcity, not the scarcity themselves. So that's uh, that's kind of what, what the only price action that I think is is a result of Burns. <laughs> And it just it reminds me of uh, an article. Nick F sent me an article. I don't know if you guys saw it anywhere. I, I wouldn't have seen it if he didn't send it to me. Some guys on YouTube, they bought. There was like 80 remaining VHSs of of some, some movie. I don't even know which one it was. They bought all of the VHSs that they could find of this one movie. And then they, they, destroy, they destroyed all of them but theirs. Okay, they bought them, they destroyed all of them, and then they sold their VHS for $80,000. I don't know what movie it was, I, I forget, I didn't read the article, I just read the, well I did skim through the article, but uh, I didn't like fully read the article and I, I've never seen the movie, so I forget which one it was. But, they burnt the supply, man, and then they increased the value of their VHS to $80,000 because they bought all of the other ones that were being sold destroyed them and then sold it to some VHS collector or some one of those movie collectors that, that liked that movie that is a direct result of burns scarcity causing the price of their VHS to be worth $80,000 just google them Fidelity using mana for their multiverse gotcha Loretta thank you for the information actually because I did not know that Loretta thank you very much for letting us know that Fidelity uses mana guys Tectonic is making me happy. John J, dude, I like it. When John Jay's happy, I'm happy. Tectonic will make a lot of people happy, John. I like it. All right, with the current supply, how high do you think Tectonic can run? Oh, Pudgy, let's see here. With the current supply of Tectonic even is... I don't know what the current supply is. Uh, so the circulating supply is 6.9 billion. The total supply is... Oh, that's Gala. Gosh, sorry. I'm looking at the wrong one. i got to go back twice. Okay, ooh, this is a lot different. You got million, billion, 110 trillion tectonic are currently in circulation. Tectonic has a maximum supply of 500 trillion tectonic. So very similar to Shiba Inu coins, maximum supply now. So based on that, dude... Uh, Tectonic could, without any major, you know, advancements, Tectonic could easily trade at the same price as Shiba Inu coin. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight billion dollar valuation. And if it gets there, you're 400 Xing from the current prices. Now, it's going to have to gain massively in popularity. It's not there yet. And I do believe that it could go higher than that, right? Based on the current circulating supply, it, it could actually go higher because Shiba Inu coins got a current circulating supply that is much higher. That's based on the total supply of Tectonic being released. So we could actually 4x the price of, of Shiba Inu coin right now and still have the same market cap. So definitely, sorry, and I'm sneezing right now. I get some allergies going on or something that's going to make me start to sneeze. Um, so yeah, dude, one-fourth the supply of Shiba Inu coin currently outstanding. Total supply is equal to Shiba Inu coin. So since you know a lot about Shiba Inu coin, you can kind of plug those numbers in right there. What's going on, JJ? How you doing? Clay, Clay, guess what? It's climbing because I touched it. Ow, ow, ow. John J, man, sounds good to me. Every time I sell, it climbs. Every time I buy, it drops. Well, John J, dude, don't buy. Let everybody else make some money. She just won't drop that zero. Kalani, it very well could very soon. Always touch it, baby. Always touch it. That makes zero sense with Ship Guy, but to me, these burns sound like BS. Something just burning work. Try and buy an OG Atari or in television. I have no idea. Burning, burning probably does work. But it, it doesn't work as fast as a lot of people think that it works. <laughs> Look at that, Clay, bro. SP Ride 4K, NASDAQ at 11. What do you expect next week, man? Where did the NASDAQ end today? Yeah, so right there at 11. I actually, this morning, man, I was expecting the NASDAQ to end lower based on the morning's open. I really was. I was expecting it to end lower today. But turn back around, started moving higher, looking very good. Man, Bitcoin just keeps rolling, dude. 19.5. Are we going to test... 20,000 before the end of the live stream like look at this man we could be testing 20 before the end of the live stream if these gains keep up uh next week well shoot dude 
Well, here's look. You guys got my lines on the chart right now. So these are my no, not that one. I want to move this one. You guys got my lines on the chart right now. If if the Nasdaq doesn't get held up in this area at like eleven two, eleven three, I think it's going eleven five. If it can maintain this break and doesn't just hit this descending trend line, so this is another one you got to worry about. This descending trend line has been very. It, it's been the indicator since uh, the fall. Started in 2021. This is the one. I'm going to make this bigger. This is a little bit more important than we're giving it credit for. Every time the NASDAQ falls, it comes back up and taps this descending trend line. You can see it, right? Starting the fall in 2021, dips down for several months, bounces back up, come on, bounces back up to this descending trend line. Falls down, bounces back up to this descending trend line. Falls down. Bounces back up to this descending trend line. Falls down. Bounces back up to this descending trend line. So we are basically right there, right now. If this descending trend line holds, which it has since 2021, okay? Lower highs since the, the peak reached back there. We may just slightly break it, but expectations should be based on that trend for a curl back over that's a that's a tough trend to break right there okay this is going from the peak in 2021 lower highs following this trend line almost perfectly slightly above in this area right here but basically just wicking and dojiing right above and coming back down so this this descending trend line man it's going to be important if it gets broken you do have a little bit of trouble right there at the 11.5 level to get through but looking at this, man, I wouldn't expect to really break back above this descending trend line right here. We can. I want to. But, I mean, if you're looking at the pattern, and every time, falls down, falls down, falls down, falls down. What would you expect it to do here? You have to expect it to fall down. You've got a better chance of it falling based on past performance than you do it rising. I mean, it's just plain and simple, man. Now, this bottom is going to be a very important bottom, and we may end up wedging all the way down into this bottom here. 10.3 to 11 and, and continuing down there. So that's something we're going to watch, man. But yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to say I would expect that descending trend line to hold up. That Bitcoin I bought at 15971 is so tasty right now. Tim, the question is, man, are you holding until it goes to a quarter million? Or are you going to take your profit and trade that Bitcoin? I'm starting to believe we're going to make 2023 the best year ever. Oh, John Jay, that is music to my ears, man. Let's take a vote. Should Glenbro do a video about Tectonic? He says yes. He says yes. He says yes. Maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. Yes. Oh, I probably could do a video about Tectonic, but the question is, would anybody watch a video about Tectonic? Bitcoin, 19.7. Shiba just dropped to zero. The mad hippie. Boom, boom, boom. Bitcoin, did it rip? Nah, Bitcoin, depends where you're looking. Bitcoin sitting at 19.5 on Weeble. You may have been looking at... Uh, I know Crypto.com is probably going to take it to, to 19.7 on, on Bitcoin there. Crypto.com is usually a little bit more expensive than everywhere else. We're seeing 19.5 on, on Weeble right now. Shirtless with a collar shirt. My my grandma voted shirtless. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice, man. Maybe isn't an option, Ronald. Well, you, didn't you didn't get the options out there, man. You didn't even say the options. So did anyone hear about Nan P selling off all her... I did not hear about, n n no, Nanny P, Nancy P, didn't hear about any nannies selling off their Tesla, but I'm getting interested in Tesla, man. I, I really am. I'm getting interested in, in going and grabbing, I'm going, I'm interested in going and grabbing 100 shares of Tesla and, and being able to trade some covered calls on it to generate some income. It's going, it's getting pretty low in price. Uh, I don't really know how much more they can hate on on Elon Musk and drive that price lower. I do think that the price can go lower, but I'm telling you, man, I just don't know how much further they could drive it down. 
I, I think this $100 area in here could be a significant level to hold up. If it is broken, I'm with you guys all day. You know, we could be testing 90. We could even be dropping back down to 60. But, dude, the options income on Tesla is just insane right now. Making 250 bucks a week on 100 shares. Just selling some covered calls. That's not bad at all. Uh, let's see where we at. Doge moving up. So everything's moving up nicely today. Yes, Kenneth. Hootay from Cincinnati in 23 will reign supreme. <laughs> Loretta, are you from Cincinnati? <laughs> Patrick. Oh, Pika says, I'm off early. Have an awesome weekend, everybody. Pika power. Enjoy your weekend as well. And Pika, if we don't see you tomorrow, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Pika. Happy birthday to you. Pika Bauer, happy birthday. I really do hope you have the best birthday ever. Oh, my goodness. I really do, man. I hope that Pika has the best birthday tomorrow. Later, Pika. Heck yeah, dark bro. Came in late. Fist bump. Boom, and an authorized hydration. It was Dark Bro, right? Dark Bro was first today. Dark Bro and Pudgy, very close firsts. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it was Dark Bro, right? Fist bump. And an authorized hydration. It's a Dark Bro. First in the chat, baby! Pat, man, thank you very much for that. Try to join the channel. Keep saying this problem. Try again later. Doughboy! You talking about on YouTube? You talking about the Discord? I just want to make sure I'm, I know which one you're talking about there. Uh, yeah, dope boy. Don't know why I wouldn't let you get a green name. It's messed up, man. Mullen needs a pump. That it does. Thank you, Clip. My birthday already starting off great. Thanks to the bros. Love it, Pika. You can have the best birthday ever for real. You really will. Sup, bro? On the road, just checking in. Luna, Lunk, and Lunatics to the moon, baby. Honda, let's get it. Glad you're checking in, man. It's gonna be a good weekend for you. Stay safe on the road, dude. Stay safe on the road for sure. Bitcoin, man, continuing up right now. 19,500 testing again. Look at this graph, man. This, look at this five-minute five, five minute graph. Looks amazing. Nice gains going from 17.9 to 19.5. To 30-minute chart looks beautiful. Going from 16.7, nothing but gains, up to 19.5. Very nice. Next level of resistance, $20,000 per share. We'll watch it play out. Got a little purple line coming on the chart right now. A little purple line coming on the chart. Racing some of those gains over the last one minute, but it is all right. We're going to watch it play out, and it's going to look good. Pika! Yes, we got a Pika. Happy birthday to you from Tim. Happy birthday to you from Tim. Happy birthday, dear Pika from Tim. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday pika that one right there is from tim i love it man looking good big is gonna have a best birthday man it's gonna be awesome youtube don't boy don't know why it's not letting you join but it's all right you can join some other time no worries here why is solana so high right now first i thought it was because of the bonk pump and the hype but now bonk is down over 50 percent, and solana continues to rise nate uh, Solana is kind of, it's tied to FTX a little bit right now because FTX, gosh, dude, I forget the actual number now, darn it. It was either $700 million or $500 million worth of FTX. Um, uh, some people are expecting that FTX will be forced to liquidate their Solana position. This is based on the bankruptcy proceedings and, and making sure that their customers get their money paid back. Other people are saying that the Solana that FTX owns is locked and they will not be able to sell it. So if they are able to sell it, Solana is probably going to see a decent sell-off, man, and go lower in price. If they are locked in it, Solana could be rallying based on the fact that people aren't expecting Solana to be dumped off right now and, and therefore buying back in. So that's my best guess. That's all it is, dude, is a guess based on some of the latest Solana news. Heading back to the beach. See you next time. Ronald, man, enjoy the beach, dude. Wish I was heading to the beach right now. John J, thank you very much for the super chat. Pika, YMCA, spinning leg kick, high ya karate chop. Happy birthday.
Happy birthday, Pika. That's for you from John Jay right there. And John Jay causing that Bitcoin to rise, man. Oh, yes. Look at that Bitcoin touching 19,560 right here. Knowing nothing but green. And guys, I... I want to know right now. You guys get it. This is not rhetorical. Get it in the chart. Are we touching 20? Are we touching 20 before the stream's over with? I don't look at. Oh my gosh. Look at that green line. <laughs> look at that green line go, baby. Oh my goodness. Wow, that Bitcoin is looking nice right now. Patrick Pika. If you're anything like me, we celebrate birthday months, baby. Oh yes. Just be sure not to celebrate too hard. We've got a little. This is for Pika Power right here. Gosh, I don't want to take that Bitcoin off the chart, but just for two seconds. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Oh, happy birthday, dear Pika. Oh yes. Happy birthday. To you, Pika, happy birthday. Jay Bone saying, happy birthday, Queen Pika. Hope you have an awesome day. And we're going to sing it again. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Pika. Happy birthday to you. And Danelle coming to the chat with a member. The, look at that, the 12 month. Danelle is a diamond bro now. I love it, Danelle. Danelle singing, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Pika. Happy birthday to you. Danelle, man. Thank you very much. Pico, you're having the greatest birthday ever. Bitcoin. Oh, my gosh, dude. It is really going to go. It's going to go to 20. Look at this. It's going to go to 20 right here. It's going to go to 20 during this live stream. Bitcoin is ripping higher right now. It's 19.8. I, you guys, I keep saying it's not rhetorical. Answer the question. Is Bitcoin going to 20? Let me know. Is Bitcoin going to 20 right now? There's 60 of you in here. Nobody's answering. It is running, my friends. It is running. Jimlins, Jimlins, Jimlins. Thank you. Cutting out early. Happy birthday, Pika. Bye, everyone. Enjoy the weekend. Chris, man, you enjoy the weekend as well, dude. Ah, enjoy your nice early weekend, Chris. I like it. Congratulations. I need a shower, dude. I think I must have been, like, sniffing some sawdust over there doing the floor or something, but I got to sneeze. I got to sneeze more than I would normally have to sneeze right now, and I don't like it. <clears throat> I'm going to have to shower after this live stream. Uh, see, Felix, man. It is. All right, Felix finally saying yes. I freaking answered. Tim, what did you say? Did you say you say yes, too? What did Tim say? BTC will bust out. All right, John J said 21.5. Yes. All right, so some of you guys did answer. Yes, yes, yes. Rich says yes. Rich says up. Oh. Gorilla says, maybe. I like it. Yes, it's climbing. Andre, it is going, baby. Bitcoin at 20,400. Let's get it. I want 10,000 Bitcoin. Let's. Oh, you want 10? Hey, hand me life. I still think it could go down, dude. We're just having a really, little bit of a rally right now. Uh, let's see. It's going to hit, then pull back a little bit, I think. Hey, CJ, I expected a pullback from 20 or from 19. I definitely expect a pullback from 20 right here. But hey, let me be the first to tell you I don't always get what I expect. Yes, but it will slow down and dip slightly next week. Very well could. Loretta says, yes, there you go. Uh, three guys going to a bar. I'll have an H2O. I'll also have an H2O. I'll have an H2O too. Two waters and a... <laughs> oh, my God. What are you, some sort of a chemist comedic, man? Are you some sort of a chemist comedic? Well, I don't understand what's happening right here. <laughs> God. It tickles the inside of your nose. Uh, that will make you sneeze. I think every time I talk, it tickles the inside of my nose, dude, because I got nose hairs just fluttering all around and these mustache hairs just going wild today. Plus, I think I got some sawdust up there. It's going base, not showing your coins anyone else. It's not showing any sales or sell offs. It's almost like it's not syncing. Web version and iPhone app. Interesting. I've not had that problem, but I don't. Dude, I, I don't really have anything on Coinbase right now. I don't really have anything on Coinbase, so I, it technically wouldn't be showing... The, I don't think it would be showing me a problem. I'm glad to see it, Danelle. I'm very glad to see Danelle. Oh, wait! Now showing on phone app. Plan maintenance in progress. Weird. Never got an email about anything. Yeah, I don't know, Matt. I don't know. All right, mind you... Ooh, John Jay. I 100% forgot about the Mega Millions. You know what I might end up doing then? I might end up going and getting food tonight. And then just instead of cooking... And then stopping at a gas station, getting the food, and buying that Mega Millions, because I 100%, that was not even in my mind at all. That was definitely a, gosh, dude, 
I'm gonna have to sneeze pretty bad. That was a uh, it was a 100% forget on the Mega Millions there. Frank pulling out some chem knowledge. Frank is pulling out some. Frank is a, is an options pro and a a chem comedian. Chem comedic, comedic chem. Comic, comic chemist. I don't even know the best way to say it, but he is. Can you say hi to my five year old son Donovan? Donovan, man. Not only hello to you, Donovan. I hope you have the best weekend ever. If you went to school today, man, I hopefully it was a great day at school. If not, well, you got a couple months left before you got to go to school, and then it's yeah, yeah you can enjoy being at home. I'm gonna tell you that. Not only that, dude, you're gonna have the greatest weekend ever, Donovan. So yes, I can say hello to Donovan. Donovan, man, you're the man, dude. You're the man. Never forget that, Donovan. Continue to have fun every day the rest of your life, and you know you're going to be having the best life ever. Get your moan on. A price jump coming soon. Oh, there you go, man. You heard it straight from Kenneth. Kenneth follows Mullen Auto better than anybody does, although I know that Keith and, and Tim are also in Mullen Auto. Wait. I'm confused. Pull it or touch it. Do both. Whatever it takes to get to Bitcoin to 23000 Sell more now. I got you. John J, dude, sell off so the rest of us can gain. <coughs> oh, that felt that felt almost as good. And I got more coming. That felt almost as good as the authorized hydration. That was a satisfying sneeze. Bitcoin on its second run. We're going to start crying here soon. I don't know what's going on with these allergies. Uh, Bitcoin on another green candle right here. Looking very good. I know it's going to touch 20,000, man. Uh, Mega Millions is for rookies. Scared of crypto. <laughs> that is true, man. But I do want to hit $1.35 billion. Hey, Pat. Must be an age thing. Something. I don't know. He's a comi- Oh, Now, Gorilla. That's a nice combination. That's a nice combination right there. It's like a chemist and a comedian together. He's a comedic. Very good. Coinbase is doing something weird. Amos, man. Thanks for letting us know. Uh, confirming there. Seemingly, they've got maintenance, right? Based on what I think Matt was saying there, they might have maintenance. I haven't seen anything about it, though. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to on at 19 cents. Tim, I love it, dude. You're the best man of his day and mine. Danger field. Very good, man. Donovan, you're going to be... Seriously, I, I love all you guys out there. Always support. She the kids. Everybody. Shoutouts galore. No problem with that whatsoever. Danger. You're awesome, man. You're awesome. Hello from Arizona. Robert, how you doing? Patrick, thank you very much for the super chat. Patrick says, calm down a little bit on that authorized hydration right there. Stop crying, Clay. Everything will be okay. Thanks, Pat. I know it will. Uh, I'm not talking to myself. Pat and I are having a conversation here. Don't sneeze, and you're going to be good to go. You can go blow your nose and sneeze, take a shower after the live stream is over, and, and everything is good to go there. So thank you very much, Pat. Absolutely appreciate that authorized hydration. And a little 15-second break. To, uh, to calm down and and compose myself once more. Thank you very much. Mina Rahal, what's going on? Is sneezing not really dope? Means I have no idea. I have no idea, Rich. Hey, Clay, are you aware about Mount Gox case? I think it will have a lot of effect on the market and see many people not aware about it. Please take a look into it. Yeah. So Mina, um, I actually think that those Bitcoin were supposed to be released prior to now. But I, I don't know the exact date on which those Bitcoin were supposed to be released. Um, I have done a couple of videos on that. So I, I am aware that even if all of those Bitcoin are released, I don't think it's going to have a catastrophic effect lowering the price of Bitcoin. Why? Even if everybody sold off the same exact day at the same exact time, I truly believe all of that volume could be eaten up just by natural Bitcoin trading. Uh, Bitcoin, it trades hundreds of billions of dollars a day. And and I think that that would be eaten up pretty quickly the, if all of those Bitcoin flooded the market. So I think we would still be okay, even if that happened. Worst case scenario, you know, you see a, a few percent decline or 10% decline or something if everything hits at the same time. CJ killing him, baby. Mm. Thank you very much for the popcorn, CJ. Love it, man. Crypto pumping. I'm crying with happiness. Also, Clay, it's okay, but thanks very much. Next level. Thanks very much. Appreciate you. Uh, Nah, maybe rich, maybe, but 
I don't know. I'm not going to take one. I'll just, I'll just shower up. I, I think I'll be fine if I shower. If I need a Benadryl or something, I'll take a Benadryl. But Benadryl is going to put me to sleep. If I took a Benadryl now, dude, I'd probably be sleeping by 7.30, 8 o'clock. Mega Millions, the truth, will allow me to buy and trash a boatload of SHIB and jack the price up and make my money right back and make all SHIB holders rich as well. Kenneth. <laughs> Kenneth. You would be a legend, man. You would be a legend if you went out there and burnt a crap ton of Shiba Inu coin after winning a $1 billion lottery prize. I had a question for you. Dark bro, what is it? Clear bro, did you get my Discord message last night? I don't think so. I did not. If I did, man, I didn't look at it. Very sorry about that. Uh, I did not look at I didn't look at anything in the Discord last night. Three vampires going to a bar. A negative for me. A B A negative for me. A B positive for me. I'll just have a plasma. Two bloods and a blood light. <laughs> nice. Frank. Now he's a what would you call a vampire comedic? I don't even know what you call a vampire comedic, man. But he's one of those guys. I do believe that Pat has his authorized hydration is just a low-key attempt for to make Clay Bro pee himself. It very well could be. Some days it works very well, but not today. It's just like... I got like dirt on my nose or something from doing that floor, man. That's crazy. Um, You know, I think it is a low-key attempt to make me have to pee. And I can tell you like 100%, it's not going to work today. I have like zero. I have zero urge to go right now. Some days, that one day you guys kept me for two hours and, and Pika sent me a super chat to let me use the restroom... That was necessary, dude. That was I really had to go. That like Pat messed me up that day. Uh, today though, mm -mm. zero whatsoever. Guys, Tim, uh, let's make him. Pee oh man, let's do it, Pat. Thank you very much for the super chat. You're really gonna have to do better than that because I don't know if it's because I worked all afternoon or what the deal is, but yeah, zero urge. Thank you very much for the super chat, Pat. Loving it. But now that I'm starting to think about it, you guys might be uh, might be making some progress. And I don't know. It's all psychological. Guys, look at this tiny little level of resistance. We're not going to keep it on the chart, right? We're not going to keep it on the chart here. But this, look at this tiny little level. Beep, beep, beep. Intraday resistance. If it breaks it, I think it's going 20. And it's about to break it. If it breaks it, I think it's going 20 right here. Ooh, and it can be such a clean, quick break, too. Boom, tapping, boom, tapping, boom, tapping. If it breaks, boom, you might shoot up in one candle up to 20 right there. We're not going to leave this little line on the chart, but I do want to leave it for right now just to see if it breaks, what happens when it tusks, if it taps through that little level of resistance. If I hit the Mega Millions, it's a farming hostile takeover, then we grow a... Hey! Tim, that actually might be something that I am extremely interested in. I would love to take over and fire everybody that works for Farmy. That'd be perfect, man. That'd be perfect. Plus, it, it, they're essentially sitting on more cash than their market cap is, so a hostile takeover would be perfect, dude. You might actually be able to go out and score an extra like $30 million pretty quick by taking them over and then liquidating the entire company. Unless, of course, they're lying and, and they're not being audited, uh, then that would suck. But, shoot, with a billion dollars, dude, go take him over. It's just like a little revenge buy. That's all it is. Two guys walking to a bar. Third guy ducked. Ha, <laughs> but a First two guys got hit their head, man. I don't know what their problem is. Yo, Litecoin. I actually do not hold Litecoin Project. I have never... That is a coin that I have never owned in the entirety of crypto. Um, I've, I've held some of the other, you know, original guys. Uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Zcash... Um, so I've held some Bitcoin. I've still got Bitcoin on a hard drive somewhere. Um, you know, actually, I don't know if I ever owned any Monero or not. Ravencoin, uh, that one's been off for a while, and Ethereum Classic. But I've, I don't think I've ever held any, well, I know I've never held any Litecoin, but I was trying to think if there's any other, like, OGs that I've, I've held out there, and I don't think that there is. I, th I think just the ones that I mentioned. But no, I don't have any right now. Uh, a Bitcoin going to bust out. Tim, it breaks that little line right there. It's definitely going up. Darn Clay, you were... No, man. Never. Kenneth, no. Listen, man. It, work is different. So I... Uh, I mean, it is work putting a floor down. But my mom is, is renovating a house. That she's going to end up selling it here probably in the spring. And I don't know if mom's listening right now or not, dude. But when your parents start to get a little older... All right? You always think your parents are old, but when they start to get a little older, they're just slow. 
and and the, I like progress. Okay, so I uh, I've been helping her put a floor down for the last couple of days, and it done some other stuff over there. Um, just helping her out so that she doesn't have to worry about doing all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, that's what I've been doing over the last couple of days. May go over tomorrow, or since the market is closed on Monday, no live streams on Monday, we'll probably be helping on Monday as well. So, it work, yes. If you want, it is physical, I mean, it is work, but it's not like I am going in and clocking in with mom and, and anything like that. I'm just, I'm just helping her out. Uh, everyone have a fantastic weekend. To know you as well. Enjoy your weekend. Hey, bro. I went into more detail about my question in Discord. I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I sent you a new message. Let's see if I can see because I do have Discord open right now. I'm going to pull it up. Dark Brawl right there. Uh, let's see. Uh, cool. So if I speak to any person, shouldn't you post associated with this channel? Yeah, yeah, Dark Bro, man. I don't have a problem with that, dude. I don't have a problem with, with that at all. I mean, what is bro, dude? Bro is, is it's just a word. You can do whatever you want with bro, right? You guys can do anything you want with it. Uh, let's see. You too, Danelle. Heck yeah. Don't forget to click. Ooh, listen to Danelle and clicky that. If you click that like button, guaranteed, if you click that like button, Bitcoin will rally through this little level of resistance and touch 20,000. It is not going higher right now because you guys are lame and not clicking the like button. There are 65 people, uh, 58 people in here. There are 58 people in here and only 36 likes. Once the likes equal more than the people in here, I guarantee if you 20 of you guys click that like button right now, Bitcoin is going to rip through that tiny little level of resistance at 19.8 and it is going to run to 20,000. It is guaranteed. Put me to the test. Put me to the only way you can put me to the test right now is if you actually do it. You won't do it because you're scared. You don't want Bitcoin to go up to 20,000. You don't want to test me. Shoot, man, I guarantee it, and you guys aren't even going to put it to the test. Shib, bye-bye, zero, baby. Let's get it. Shiba Inu coin busting that zero. Yes, man, Shiba Inu coin, 1,000 points per coin. Once again, 25-plus percent increases from where it was just last week, man. If you look at this hourly chart, Bitcoin or Shiba Inu coin, sorry, down at 800 points per coin to 1,000 points per coin. That is a 25% increase right there on that hourly chart going from January 1st up to, well, today, January 13th, two weeks. 25 plus percent increase in Shiba Inu coin right there. Looking beautiful. Throwing green lines on the chart, baby. It is rolling. It is running. Shiba Inu coin is going up. That was a terrible song, man. I, I, I'm, I don't even know what to say about that. That was just a bad song. I mean, like, can I redeem myself? Hopefully I can. Uh, thanks, Matt. It's really, yes. Coinbase Counter Scheduled Maintenance. Gotcha. Coinbase. Uh, does that have every single time uh, the market moves up? I honestly believe it's intentional. It probably is, man. They don't want you to sell your Bitcoin. But Moji with a 14-month member chat. Moji, man. Working. Smash that like button. Miss me. We do miss you. Moji, man. We always miss you when you're not in here. Guys, smash that like button. Did you guys click it? It seems like you may have clicked it. Five of you guys click that like button. Oh my god, dude. Five. Five of you guys click that like button. Twenty of you need to click that like button. Uh let's see. Just log into Coinbase shows me zero zero assets. Where are they gone? Okay, so seemingly guys, everybody's having problems with, with Coinbase. Uh, if you're logging in on mobile, it seems like there is some uh, maintenance going on right now. I do not know, but it, you, you should have your assets in there. Uh, I didn't have uh, plans to sell anything on Coinbase. I may have wanted to add my account on some other coins. There you go, Matt. Well, now they're not letting you do it. Patrick, smash that like button like Bitcoin smashes 20,000. Guys, I guarantee you, if you smash it, we're going to touch 20. I guarantee you, if you smash it, we're going to touch 20. But you only got four minutes to figure it out because the live stream's almost over. Click the like button, guys. Let's do it. Uh, if you get more than 58 likes, because we got, well, we got 66 people in here now. You guys got a lot of likes to click. You still got 20 likes to click. I don't know what your problem is. I wasn't selling either. Yeah, nobody's selling, man. Everybody's buying right now. This bad boy's ripping higher. What is this? What is happening? People are getting excited, Mike. People are getting excited. Or Mike, not Mike, sorry. Um, people are just getting excited right now. Nothing nothing but a rally from one level of resistance to the other. Nothing ridiculous happening right now. This is this is just what you can expect on a technical breakout, and uh, it's just it's fun. 
right? I don't think this is the end all be all. I don't think this is the bottom. The, the, we're just going to rise in price now. But I do think that this is the kind of excitement and emotion we will be feeling during the next bull market. Okay, I do think we can pull back and, and drop in price again, but this is the, the exciting stuff. This is what we love to see in crypto, man. Gains. Stock market. Gains. Yes. Yes. Most of my funds are on Coinbase, though. So nothing wrong with that, dope boy. Unless, of course, Coinbase goes under, then everything's wrong with that. Loretta! I got paid, and you were entertaining. Thank you very much, Loretta. Absolutely appreciate you on that super chat there. And hey, I'm glad you're getting paid, Loretta. Looking very good getting paid out there. Look, you getting paid on a Friday, the weekend's going to be a good weekend. Loretta, thank you very much for that super chat. Absolutely appreciate you. Everything green this weekend, Friday the 13th weekend. Ooh, it is Friday the 13th. Ooh, 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 ooh. Clay is not a fan of any centralized exchanges because you don't own coins. They do. Yeah, you know what, man? I'm a fan of buying and selling on those exchanges. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, it is much simpler. And I do think it's safer to buy and sell on there. So I think that's completely fine. And centralized exchanges actually are necessary for selling. I like market makers. I, I like these centralized exchanges in the sense that I don't have to go out and find a buyer. If, if I own 10 Bitcoin, I can go sell 10 Bitcoin on a centralized exchange like that. So I do think that they're a necessary evil. But... After basically getting screwed on, on Voyager, I think it's nonsense, dude. I think it's nonsense. I don't know why you would ever loan your cryptocurrency out to these people who are loaning your cryptocurrency out to people who don't care what they invested in, what kind of yachts they buy, and what color their Bugatti is. So, I don't think... I, I, dude, you wouldn't loan your cryptocurrency to your best friend so I don't know why you're loaning it to these idiots that are really just like throwing your money away. Um, but I like the centralized exchange. Like, don't get me wrong. I do like the fact that you can go in, click a button and buy. Instead of tracking somebody down that owns a Bitcoin and buying it off of them and having them send it to your address and all of that stuff. And then I like the fact that you can just go in and click a button and sell. They're a necessary evil. They, they, they really are. But I don't like loaning any money out to them. That's nuts, dude. That's nuts. I, I really wouldn't loan it out to my best friend. I wouldn't loan it out to them. So I don't know why they would do that. If Pudgy says, uh, if Pudgy says goes, then Pudgy wants a new overtime record. Go for two. Oh, I don't know if I can handle two and a half hours, man. Hoi Bros and a fan of centralized exchange because of Voyager. Facts on that, man. If I, and then they just want to sit there and continue getting paid to provide zero service whatsoever. I don't like it. Of course, I can't recommend that since, full disclosure, I work for a competitor. Pat, nobody can. Potential short opportunity, O with yell, between now and February 1st. There you go, guys. Check it out. But he can't recommend you shorting them because he works for a competitor, so don't do it. Uh, but you can still check it out and check it and uh, look at it. Let's see. Hey, bro, it's just like the stock market reloading. Same as putting money in a bank. It's a racket for sure. Yeah, gorilla. It, it really is. You, you know, <laughs> I don't... I don't like when other people have control over anything that I got going on, man. Banks, nice, ease of access. I can literally go spend money anywhere. don't have to carry cash around. But uh, the day they decide to freeze my account for some stupid reason, could you imagine, like, if they did, like, like how, how horrible that would be if I said on a YouTube channel, I think paying taxes suck. I think one of those fair act uh, taxes, the consumption tax that they're talking about, is a good idea so people can save more of their their income as opposed to paying income taxes. Then they just get taxed when they go and decide to, to buy something. Dude, could you imagine if the bank was like, we don't like your position on income taxes. Your assets are frozen. Oh, I'd hate banks even more, dude. I'd hate banks even more. Oh, my goodness. That would be wild. Oh, I'll be getting a hard wallet after this. Doughboy. Very nice, man. Uh, let's see. Pichelini. I don't know. I think it was hacked. I think they're protecting their assets, meaning your assets. They don't want anyone to sell off their Bitcoin or other coins that follow Bitcoin in this mini rally. Quite possibly, but I'm not sure which uh, exchange you guys are talking about right now. 
precious metals are the ultimate hedge against third party risk. Yeah, old rounder. You know they technically are, man. I don't. I'm personally not ready to go that far. That I need gold in order to go buy something at this store, but I don't think that's an impossibility, man. You take a gold coin to the store, and, and all of a sudden, you got to use that to buy your loaf of bread. I don't think that's an impossibility. So, I just don't... I, I'm not there yet. I'm not ready to go that far. Uh, ask ye about that one. I don't even know what we're talking about anymore, man. Ask ye about who? Uh, let's see. Next bull market will retire us all for dealing with this crypt. You know what, Kenneth? That is an absolute possibility, man. Okay? I don't know what you guys need to retire. I'll tell you this. It's less than you probably think. It's less than your dream number when you just go out and buy some sort of a mansion and a, a fancy sports car and a yacht. Um, dude, but if we're at these numbers right now and you 10x on Bitcoin and 10x on Ethereum, if you 20, 30, 40x on something like Shiba and some of these other smaller coins, like... I mean, if you guys have more than a hundred bucks invested, you're going to be doing extremely well. And there's also a difference in retiring and just living on some Fort Lauderdale penthouse suite and going to the beach every evening uh, with all of the other old people. I mean, you can still, dude, start something on the side, pursue a dream of yours, you know, maybe just have a, a part-time gig and something that you absolutely enjoy. Dude, the next bull market is going to be amazing. And Kenneth, you are absolutely right, dude. It, it is reward for dealing and adding with this bear market. It, it's just... You got to persevere through the downturns. I don't know if it's here yet. I don't want to get ahead of myself and, and get too excited. I don't know if it's here yet, but I am going to tell you, man, you make it through and we hit all time highs again. You're 510 xing on Bitcoin. You're sitting here, you're hitting, you know, 20, 30 X gains on something like Shiba, even some of these smaller coins and these other stocks that are down 70% from where they should be. You're two, three, four, five xing over there. It's going to be good across the board, dude. Bro! been in mansions and they're overrated you know what I, i'm gonna tell you dude they probably are overrated 2.7 million something uh, i i didn't see what you said uh, loretta about the 2.7 million uh, bye guys y'all on discord or monday uh, you know what monday probably no stream dude markets are closed on monday all right stock markets are closed on monday so maybe no stream on monday uh, i believe it's martin Luther king day on monday i'm the real shitoshi razi we got the real shitoshi in the chat baby Quit. what's 40x on 1.2 billion shiba inu coin a billion shiba inu coin right now is is right around 10 grand right so you'd be sitting on four hundred thousand dollars man you'd be sitting on four hundred thousand dollars i believe if, if one billion is is 10 grand right now i think it takes 10 grand to get a billion shiba inu coin right now and uh therefore yeah dude you, you'd have roughly a little over four hundred thousand dollars on a 40x increase man looking amazing and i don't think it's impossible that's a that's a couple hundred it's gonna have to be at a bull market and it's gonna have to be a uh you know 4x increase from the all-time highs that we saw so you're still looking at a couple hundred billion dollar valuation but every bull market we've had has exceeded the limits of the previous bull market I'm excited about it, man. I'm excited about it. Uh, let's see. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know what Dark Bro's saying about running around. Uh, that'd be nuts. Uh, Winston Churchill said it best. We must endure to persevere. F er, preserve. Sorry, not persevere. Preserve. Yes, you are right on that one. Chibi Inu becomes the universal standard for a penny. A dime or a dollar. I'm in bliss. Loretta, I love it. Pudgy was late. Just making up for the bad time. But we have been here for an hour now, guys. I, I really do have to shower. I, I can tell, man, I got some, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I got some dirt on my on my hands right there. And I still, I'm, I'm fighting off a little sneeze. So I'm going so to go get this salt dust out of my nose. I'm going to get ready for the weekend. Hopefully I can remember because I'm thinking about it right now. Get these videos done. Get all that stuff ready to go. Videos at 7 p.m., 8 p.m. Please watch them a couple times, guys. I'm telling you, even if you just let a playlist play or whatever in your in your spare time, I absolutely appreciate it. Views are down for everybody right now. 
So if you guys don't want to do it on my channel, do it on somebody else's channel. Literally, if you're not doing anything, it, it does help out the guys that are making YouTube videos. Just a, a simple ad watch, man. It, it, it adds up pretty quick. So make sure to do that. Click the like button. Share the videos. All that good stuff that everybody always does, man. And uh, I'm going to try my best to remember to go get some Mega Millions. And uh, shoot, you guys can hear it right now. I don't know who's in here. Screenshot it if you want. But the 82 of you guys that are in here right now, if I win the Mega Millions tonight and I sit on a billion dollar jackpot, you guys all get a million. All right? You guys all get a million for sure if I win the billion dollars tonight. I don't know who the 82 is in here right now. So if you, if you screenshot it, you're good to go. Uh, $82 million max. Uh, let's see, though, guys. Get your names in the chat right now. We'll do the shout-outs. And I think that's it, man. Most likely no live stream on Monday because of Martin Luther King Day. All of the uh, all the markets are closed. I'm pretty sure that covers it, man. DD214, peace out to you. Rozzy, man. I know you can smell me from there. Trust me. I can't smell anything because my nose is clogged up. Matthew, man. John J. Tim. Rozzy. Frank. Uh, Pesci. See you later, man. We get Rich. Franchise. Peace out to you. Dark Bro. Dark Bro. Loretta. Pudgy. Rich. Rozzy. Dees. Andre. Sean. Maul. Pascal. See you later. Old Rounder. Rozzy. Next Level Gorilla Invictus. Ice Bear. Strange. Woohoo! I'm here. Strange. You are here, man. I like it. I can go back and actually look at whose name was in the chat, getting these shout outs at the end. That's how I'm going to do it. All right, so I'm going to do it. If I do win the Mega Million, or if I win that billion dollars tonight, whoever I shout out right here, you guys are going to be the ones to get the mill. Everybody else sleeping? Nah, sucks to be you. D's, man. See you later. Andre, Sean, Maul, Pascal, Old Rounder, Rozzy, Next Level, Gorilla, Ice Bear, Strange Experiments, man. See you later. Hemi Life, enjoy your weekend. Frank, uh, Rich, Pika Power is included, okay? Pika Power left early, but it is her birthday weekend. She's still included in this. You guys can record it if you want. She's still included. Rich, see you later. D214, Loretta, Mama Mella, Noto, Slime and Dave, Rozzy, Dustin, Timmy. Thank you very much for the super chat. Hey, bro, in the chat. <laughs> And the live stream is going to pick up over on my OnlyFans channel after this. Tim is right. Uh, $2, $2, permission, $2 admission to join the Claybro OnlyFans right there. Uh, the live stream is going to pick up over in the... I don't even know if I'm allowed to say that on YouTube. Uh, Tim, man, thank you very much for the Super Jet. That is not going to happen if you guys... Never mind. Uh, Tim, dude, thank you very much. Dark Bro, Snake Fox, I like it, man. Next Level, Strange Experiments, boom. Dark Bro, Andre Miller, Razi, Tim, or Dark Bro, Maul. We've got CJ, Pat, Razi, all of you guys. You know what time it is, man. You want to say it with me? Say it with me. Till the next time. Hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day. <laughs> Budgie! <laughs> Budgie, man, thank you very much for the super chat. Loving it. Razi, no, no, no. There will be no noodle toes creeping up on the. Ooh, look at those long toes. No noodle toes creeping up on the screen. Oh, I like it. Pudgy man, thank you very much for the super chat. Tim, dude, thank you very much for the super chat. And uh, yes, Mama Mella, you are only here once, dude. No two, no two million, only one million now, Mama Mella. Mama Mella, man, enjoy your weekend. Rozzy, Pudgy, Tim, Rozzy, Rozzy, Andre, Sean, Rozzy, Tim, Dustin, all of you guys. You know what time it is. You want to say it with me? Say it with me. Till the next time, hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day.